In this video, I'm going to describe how our course is organized so that you can easily find everything that you need. On the left hand side are the modules. Our first module is Start Here and that's where you should begin our course. When I click on the module Start Here or any of the other module names, it'll give you the name of the module, the date, an introduction, the objectives, and a list of the graded assignments for that module. Within each module, there are individual sub-modules or tasks that you'll need to complete. So for this Start Here folder, you'll need to complete all 15 steps by January 25th. As you step through the tasks, you'll see that there are a lot of different types of activities that you need. For example, watch videos, read articles, read from our textbook, and try out some of the Web 2.0 tools. I've tried to arrange the tasks in order so that you have everything that you need to successfully complete each of the assignments. Above the start here, we have the course home. And if you click on course home, you'll see our syllabus is here, the schedule, and also the assignments. So if we take a look at the syllabus, for example, there's a web version of it that you can scroll down and look at quickly. If you'd like, you can also click there's a PDF version. And that's the same for the schedule. If you look at that, there's the PDF version and the web version. I recommend that you open up the PDF version of the course schedule and download that and print that out so that you can use it as a checklist as we go through the semester. The assignments are listed here and there's more details about each of them. For example, the website project. When you click on that, there's an overview of it. There's some examples that you should look at. And then there are three steps, the website project and the tip project, which you'll learn more about, will be done over the course of the semester. So for each of the steps, you need to click here for the description and the rubric for how it will be graded. Now this is actually a Google Doc, and I have it set so that everybody should be able to view it. You won't be able to edit it, but if you'd like, you can uh, print it out or download it. Let me go back to the course home. And so you do that for each of the steps, step one, two, and three. If we click on course home, let's just take a look at what we have here. Right in the middle is the activity feed and as people are posting to the discussion board, this will start to, you'll start to see what people are posting here. And we have announcements I'll be posting announcements throughout the week, so as you read them, they get marked red or the unread ones. And this is handy right here too, upcoming. This will show you in this section any assignments that are due within the next seven days. I recommend that you also go to the notifications tool and use that, set that up. Because with this, you can set up an email and a text messaging number so that when you click on feeds, it will let you know when somebody's posted to a discussion board, when a new announcement has been posted. It'll send you a, a reminder 24 hours before an assignment is due. And it also lets you know when one of your grades has been published. So you can have that emailed to you or texted to you or both. Now when you go into your course, it might not look like this. What I'm going to be doing is opening up the modules as we go through the semester. So for now, you'll be able to get to Course Home and start here. And later on, I'll be opening up more of the other modules. If you have any questions or something is unclear, please feel free to contact me.